Hello Ultimate Traders. On this short video tutorial, I will be showing you how I doubled my small trading account from $20 to $40 within just a few minutes of trading the new option market on Derive called the Accumulators. Exclusively available on Derive Broker, you can now choose to trade on a demo account for practice or trade on a real account mode. You can trade on any device, a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. And the access link has been pinned on the comments section below. So what is Accumulators? Are you looking for a fast-paced, strategic, and potentially explosive way to trade? Look no further than Accumulators, available exclusively on the Dare of Trader platform. In this video, we'll dive into accumulators, explaining how they work and guiding you through a step-by-step -step trade. With accumulators, you have a chance to earn up to 5% compounded growth per tick by predicting if the market price will stay within a specific range. Here's the Dare of Trader interface. You can find accumulators in the trade type menu on the top right. You then choose your instrument from the menu on the left. Accumulators are currently available with any of Derev's volatility indices. Let's select the Volatility 25 index as an example. Next, you pick your growth rate. Choose between 1% to 5%. This sets your upper and lower barriers. A higher growth rate means a tighter range for price movements, potentially higher rewards and increased risk. Enter your trade amount. Start with as little as 1 USD or go up to 100 USD. Let's try 10 USD. Click Buy to open your trade. If the market price stays within the barriers, your potential payout grows at 5% each time the price moves. The Sell button shows your potential payout. Click this button to secure your profits before the price reaches, touches, or breaches either barrier. If the price touches or breaches the barriers, you lose any unrealized gains plus the initial amount you put into the trade. Before you click Buy, you can set a take profit level. This will automatically close your trade and secure your payout if it reaches the take profit level. Be aware of slippage when closing your trade, as the market price might change before your order reaches our servers, affecting your payout. With Dariv, you're assured full transparency. You have quick access to your recent trades here, or go to the Reports tab to access your detailed trading history, including profit loss and reference ID for every trade. Ready to try accumulators for yourself? Sign up for a free Dare of Demo account and launch Dare of Trader from your Traders Hub to experience this exciting new trading opportunity risk-free. Now that you are all caught up, first step is to set the chart on Dare of Trader platform. This strategy works best on the major volatility index markets because of the low volatility in spread. But you can also backtest other assets. There are new trade types added like the vanillas and the turbo options. But for now, let us focus on the accumulators. Set the growth rate of your trade. This equates to how your stake will grow interest per tick, as long as the current spot price remains within the range that the market has set. So the bigger the growth rate, the bigger your returns per tick. But also you increase the risk of price breaking out of the range because you reduce the range when you increase the growth rate. Vice versa is also true. The smaller the growth rate, the smaller your return per tick. But here you decrease the risk of price breaking out of the range because when you increase the growth rate, you reduce the range. Set the stake you want to use. On this video, I will be using a stake of $10. You can choose to set your preferred take profit or take when the trade is running. On this video, I will be targeting 50 cents or 0.5% per trade. Next major step is to add technical analysis to the chart. I will be using the MACD indicator to measure the volume of the market. On the left hand side, click on indicators and search for MACD. Click it to attach it to the chart. I will be using the default settings of this indicator. That is all you require on this chart. No candlesticks, 
just the graph chart and the MACD indicator. Below the chart, you can see the tick statistics. The stats shows the history of consecutive tick counts. That is the number of ticks the price remained within the range continuously. The count resets when price of a new tick breaks out of the range from previous tick price. And the cycle continues. The entry strategy is quite easy. You just have to know when price is in low volume. The MACD indicator measures the price momentum. If the price is increasing on either direction, the volume of the MACD bars will be large and the moving averages will be far from the middle zero line. If the price is consolidating, the volume of the MACD bars will be small and the moving averages will be near the middle zero line. In accumulators, you win a trade if price stays in that range for a while. So that means the best time to trade accumulators is on a sideways trending market. Start looking for entry setups when the MACD volume bars are small and the moving averages are near the zero middle line. That implies that the price is consolidating and we only need a small breakout to give us a buy green light like it has happened here on volatility 10 index market. When the range is broken, it turns to red and that is our signal to enter the market. Click the buy button immediately. Targeting only 0.5%, it only takes two ticks to reach the set take profit. Wait for other setups as long as the MACD volume bars are small and the moving averages are near the middle zero line. Like this setup, price broke out of the range with at least one tick. Enter a buy position immediately when this happens. Another trade won on volatility 100 index. The general rule of price states that price first accumulates, then it distributes itself. So if price can break out of the range when the MACD volume bars are small and the moving averages are near the middle zero level, then that will be a good sign to enter the market. You just have to measure with your eyes and know the right time to enter the market. Every time there is a breakout, you can enter a trade as long as the volume or the volatility of the market is low. Like on this scenario, right now the moving averages are moving away from the zero middle line aggressively and the MACD bars are long meaning the market is very volatile and it is not a good time to find a trade setup. Four dollars in the money. Let us find other solid setups on all major VIX index markets. A perfect setup on volatility 75 index. The MACD bars are small in volume and the moving averages are near the zero middle level, meaning price is consolidating and it is not very volatile. Only one condition remain, a breakout of the range barrier. I execute a trade immediately when that happens. Two seconds and the trade is on and 0.5% profit has been secured. As long as the conditions are met, a trader can continue placing the trades until the consolidation is over. Just be careful, other markets move very fast compared to others and it may catch you off guard. I usually stop hunting for trades whenever the moving averages have crossed above or below the MACD volume bars. Back to volatility 100 index market. Looks like a setup may be on the way. The MACD bars are small in volume and the moving averages are at the middle zero level. You can choose to execute a trade early when the volume is still low, but it is wise to wait for the first break out of the range because after that you can get more high probability entries. Sometimes you can miss to enter a trade, so your cursor should always be ready to execute a buy trade every time price breaks out of the range. Like this scenario here, you can see price breaks out of the range in a low volume market. Next action I will perform is to execute a trade immediately. The accuracy rate is at least 90% probability. It will close in the money after 2 seconds. Nothing is 100% sure in trading. 
0.5% profit has been secured. I find volatility 100 index to be very calm compared to other volatility index markets. The tick speed is not that fast, so it is easier to measure the volume of the market in real time. Another good setup here. Price breaks out of the range, then I execute a trade. You can see all conditions are met and the trade closes in profit. This market is still ripe for trading. I like placing trades when the MACD volume bars are at the zero middle level. Moving averages are just extra confirmation that the market is not volatile. Another trade closed in profit. As long as the MACD volume bars are at the zero level, you can enter a trade. In this chart scenario, the moving averages are moving away from the middle line, signaling that the price is gaining momentum. If I get a range breakout, I will risk a trade based on the MACD volume bars. But this should be the last entry on volatility 100 index. I have tried to capitalize on the low volume market. Breakout detected. When the range barrier turns red, trade executed on the next tick. Two seconds later, trade closed with a 0.5% profit. Now I am at 8 trades won consecutively using this strategy. You can call that calculated risk. There is a range breakout on this setup, but I have avoided taking a trade because of two factors. One is because the moving averages are dropping from a high volatility price point. And two, the MACD bars are way below the zero line. That tells me that the market may be trending, not consolidating. So I avoid that trade. If you observe the moving averages, price seems to be coming back to the zero level. Meaning, if you can time correctly, you can catch a trade before price skyrockets. Trade 1. If you zoom in the chart, you can clearly see the moment when the MACD volume bars are at zero level. This is a very high probability trade setup if you are able to execute it. Here is another trade setup that you should avoid while trading accumulators. You can see the moving averages are way above the zero level, meaning right now the market is very volatile. The MACD bars are also starting to gain momentum. Stay away from such market setups. Waiting for a good setup. Here is one, but I missed it. But the market conditions are very favorable right now. I am certain of a trade, so I am just waiting for that range breakout. Range breakout detected in a low volume market setup. Trade executed on the next tick after breakout. First and precise entry. Two seconds later, 0.5% profit booked. The price is still calm. Another range breakout detected. Trade executed and it is a win. Those are 20 wins in a row with zero losses, making $10 profit. That grows my account by 50%. You can check the results on the trade table. You can see not even a single loss was made during the making of this strategy. It took me at least one hour to find the setups. Even though the return on investment is small compared to the stake invested, the strategy is good, 50% remaining to hit my daily target. I will be taking trades following the rules as I take you through the do's and don'ts of this strategy. I would call this type of trading the accumulator scalping because the trade duration is just 2 seconds. However, you can choose to hold the trade for a longer time, that is, if you have a strategy to do that. You can also opt to use a small stake and hold your trade or you can choose to use a big stake and cash out at 2 seconds. It all depends with the nature of your trading. If you like to see another accumulator strategy video where you hold your trades for a longer period of time, give this video 500 likes and you'll get it by next month. The most important thing you need to have is a strong internet connection. Like earlier stated in the video, your execution or entry point may be affected by slippage or the order execution delays to reach the derive servers in real time. To avoid this, make sure your internet speed is at least 8 megabytes per second. 
another scenario that you may face is double range breakouts. It can happen during trade execution or it can happen when the trade is running, which in most cases, it results in a loss. In accumulators, there is no stop loss, like you will find in multipliers trade type. In accumulators, when you get a loss, you lose the whole invested amount. So it is still a risky affair. You have to be good in anticipating. Risk management is very tight on this strategy because if I lose even one time, then I am out of the market for that day. So there is no room for mistakes, especially when trading with a big stake. Practice until you get confident enough to trade with real money. The markets are open 24 seven, so you can pick any day to trade. I am still finding setups following the trade confirmation rules. Few trades remain until I hit my target. This is the easiest strategy that I have ever made. I believe anyone can try this. As long as you are not greedy in the market, the accumulators can reward you. I have taken as much trades as I can to prove the strategy works perfectly. You just have to be precise. 40 trades taken, zero losses, from $20 to $40. That is a great winning streak. The trade results are all green. If you liked the strategy, try it and leave your feedback on the comment section. The video was a little bit longer than I expected, but it was worth it. If you give this video 500 likes and above, I will release a new accumulator strategy with even higher accuracy. That is it for this video tutorial. Hope it boosted your trading IQ. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content like this. See you on the next video, but for the meantime, stay safe, peace. Give me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply. I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply, I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply, I'm scared me, I stay automatic. Money add and multiply.